Okay, so good morning everyone. Today we will continue with our talk about the mammography and what do we need to know about it. Last week we uh, talked about the breast density, the any lesion we see, how to describe it, what should we look for, the margins, whether they are well defined, partially well defined, or speculated ill defined, the calcifications, types of calcifications, what are the benign types of calcifications, what are the malignant types of calcifications, and the ones in between uh, that we need to take further action regarding them. Uh, so today we have only not that much, few slides to see, and then we uh, might go to something else. Anyway, so for example, if we have a case like this, this was a Bayrat zero at screening, this thing here. It, there is a density uh, which we have absolutely no idea what it is. So ultrasound uh, was requested, and what do we see here? There is a cystic lesion, of course, a big cystic lesion uh, that uh, measures around 6 by 12 cm, something like that, and it has multiple internal echoes. Uh, the wall is thick and it's absolutely well defined. So this can be either a galactosile, a hematoma, abscess, things like that. And of course, this is a Bayrats too. It's definitely not uh, anything uh, related to malignancy. Okay, now what about this? Uh, ma colloid? It can be, but uh, the more common things, you need, of course, the history of the patient. For example, if she's lactating, galactosil will be more likely. If there is history of uh, trauma, hematoma will be more likely. Surgery, seroma or hematoma will be more likely. Redness, exactly. You need to the clinical history. But any case, it is a Bayrat 2. It's a benign. The, the, our job is to say this is benign, more likely to be malignant or malignant. Okay? One. Sorry. Well, you can say there is some macro, macro, not lobulation. Lob, yani, you can say that it's macro lobulation. Again, it's a benign finding, macro lobulation. It's not suspicious. Anyway. So, what, uh, what would you comment on this mammogram? Is it, first of all, the breast density is ACR 1, 2, 3, 4, how much? You can use 2, which is relatively fatty, almost, uh, there is only m not that much of glandular tissue. The skin is normal, you can see there are no axillary lymph nodes, we don't have any masses, any cysts, any abnormal uh, densities in the mammogram. So this is a Bayrads 1. Ones means nothing to comment on. There is, it's normal. There is nothing, not benign, not malignant. It's just normal. If she's over 40, you recommend routine screening. That's it. Which depends on the country, either once every year or once or every two years, depending on uh, the protocol of the country that the patient lives in. Anyway, uh, in this example, we there is there was a density in the mammogram, and an ultrasound is required, and you can see it's just a cyst, again, just like the previous case. It can be either a hematoma, or an abscess, or a seroma, or whatever. Uh, anyway, it is a Bayrats too. It's a cyst, nothing to be worried about. Now, what about this case here? You can see there are some calcified oil cysts here and there, and there is this mass here, okay? It's sharply defined, very well defined, all over. It has some punctate calcifications. This very well defined border, clear surrounding fat planes, 
okay and no associated lymphadenopathy even if there is some punctate calcifications it is a virus 3 which means I, I am 97 98 percent sure that it is benign okay you don't refer this for a biopsy you might follow it up for a period but you don't do a biopsy because it's almost uh, always a benign pathology and a follow-up was done at 6 12 and 24 months and showed no change 6 4 24 months no change of the lesion and this was downgraded to by rats 2 it was by rats 3 now it's 2 okay yeah Well, not just the location is not the thing to be suspicious about. You have the shape, the borders, the calcifications, the associated features like skin involvement, nipple involvement, axillary lymph nodes, and of course the additional investigations like, for example, an ultrasound. All these are the things that you might look for suspicious features in it. The location itself, it's in not not yeah because it's retro memory it does not mean that yeah it might be an could, could be a fibroadenoma for example okay anyway now like we said by rats four when you say by rats four it means i don't know it has a probability from three to 97 98 percent from being benign to being malignant. Yeah, I mean, good على lesion by rats four. I don't know, معنا. Some action needs to be taken. Okay. For example, let's see this case here. So, by rats four is reserved for findings that do not have the classical appearance of malignancy, but have a wide range of probability of malignancy. It can be very benign, can be very malignant. I don't have enough features or informations to decide okay for example this lesion here you can see this there is a abnormality of suspicion it's suspicious for malignancy but a benign lesion is also possible for example ectopic glandular tissue okay it's not very well defined but it has no calcification no micro calcifications the skin is normal there is no associated features of malignancy so this needs to be something to be done like look it up on ultrasound say take some additional features uh, you might do an fna for example compression views you don't need to do something and close follow up of course okay and now a lesion like that one is by rats five that is this is a malignant it's speculated ugly looking other calcifications it's uh, extending to the nipple and causing traction of course the patient will have some sort of inverted nipple or skin tethering so this needs to be managed immediately okay then if it was me i just will put a needle in it and take a biopsy and get done with it and refer the patient for chest abdomen and pelvis ct for staging and refer to the oncologist for further management now let's see this case here on the left side there is the initial mammogram there is a probable mass and there is a, a marker there okay biopsy was done it was proven to be a carcinoma and after the chemotherapy now it is it was referred for new adjuvant chemotherapy the mass is still there but what virus do we give it now it's virus six it was proven malignancy however no surgery where it was done just the chemotherapy so now it's a birat 6 if there is any surgery any intervention any lumpectomy for example quadrantectomy then now it is not uh, within the birat's lexicon because it's not there if the surgery remove it it's not there so virus does not apply to this lesion however if there is no surgery just chemotherapy for example 
and it's a biopsy proven carcinoma it's a BIRAT6 okay now the same case on ultrasound you can see it was this big and now it's this big it's much smaller now so it was 3.6 and after treatment it's 1.8 it is responding to chemotherapy, however, it's still BIRAD 6. Tama? Okay, so let's test what we have learned all over. So are you ready? Let's see. And no one says I'm ready. Good. <laughs> so what do we have here? Popcorn calcification, multiple large masses with macro calcifications. It's a BIRAD, I would put it two, yes. maybe three, but it's preferably two even. There is nothing suspicious about any of these lesions, okay? Most likely they are just involuted fibroadenomas, exactly, okay? <laughs> okay, now, let's see here. What do we have? What about this one? It's well defined, clear surrounding planes, no signs of skin involvement, uh, no speculations, no calcifications. Most likely, this is just a cyst. So we would put it by us too. Maybe if we do an ultrasound, it's a two. Okay. What about this? Is just a, a scattered uh, fibroglandular tissue, and it's ectopic. Okay, ectopic fibroglandular tissue. Now, what about, what about this one? This will be put as four. Why? Because it has some irregular outline, some maybe speculations. You can see this border not very well defined. So this is suspicious. This need to be something to be done. Okay? Now, let's see this one. What about here? This is a Bayrads? Two. If you are any so afraid you might put it free not more definitely not more because this is definitely a hamartoma it has different densities of different kinds just because it's big doesn't mean that it is suspicious it's a benign finding okay now this one is this is a five you have the skin thickening the nipple retraction the ill-defined ugly uh, density this is a five you would have to do something about it okay now what about here what do we have we have bilateral silicone breast implants and in the breast implant we you have how many types of breast implants you have three types the first one the old one was the uh, silicone injection free injections which was which is not used now anymore because of its a lot of uh, complications they just inject silicone in the glandular tissue and it's risky because you can't remove it okay uh, the second one is you have retro pectoral it's deep to the pectoralis you have the pectoralis muscle here and you, they put the uh, implant behind the pectoralis between the pectoralis and the chest wall this one has a little bit of a risk of an hemothorax, but not that much because I th it's just the chest wall, they don't puncture the pleura. And you have pre pectoral implant, which is put within the glandular tissue of the breast. Okay? So, do we have any abnormality here? There's just a tiny lymph node here, it's nothing to be worried about. So, do you see anything else? right side what do we have see there is something here okay so you would do this we would maybe use about as a birads four and we would do something else or at least we can consider it a birads zero further assessment is needed okay sure you can of course and i will be helpful very helpful now what about this one? This is a lipoma. This is a lucent lesion. It's well defined. It's uh, nothing suspicious about it. This is a BIRADS 2, maybe 3. 
nothing much okay now what about this one five. this is a five exactly this is a pirate's five it is yeah, ugly it looking okay come on and there we have suspicious lymph nodes okay so let's see this one what do we have here we have the right and the left breast on the craniocaudal and mlo mlo view and the craniocaudal view we have some breast density here lucency here what is this this region it looks like a lipoma come on it's just a lipoma here here okay with some dense breast tissue so this would be a virus two or three okay however we have this big thing here what do we have here this big thing contains some macro calcification and some lucency here and there it is nothing suspicious it's big but it's not well why it's partial i would see it all over the way this this is the capsule not this don't look at the dense part the lucent part the right side is just it's not partially well defined if you see at two views you can see it here it's well defined okay so this is bilaterally by rods two possibly three okay you can recommend the three and recommend by again it's not four it's two yeah. or three you can recommend make it a three and uh, recommend the follow-up after a while okay now what do we have here well, listen, axillary lymph nodes is something normal. Every every one of us have an axillary lymph node now. If we do an axillary ultrasound for all of us, males and females, we will all have some lymph nodes. Okay? So you don't need to focus on the axillary lymph nodes. Just see the breast parenchyma. Is there anything? No. I don't think so. Well, for me, I will put it as a pirates one. Normal. Nothing there. Now, Let's see here. There are vascular calcifications, and in, in this in this case, there are vascular calcifications. They are just atherosclerotic. You see this a lot in elderly and diabetics. It's you can consider it two or even one. Nothing to be worried about. What about here? This is plasma cell mastitis. It has definitely this broken needle appearance. Just long, and again, it is a birads too possibly three okay then what about here here we have a large well-defined opacity with no suspicious features at all okay nothing to be worried about could be a cyst could be a phylloidist tumor for example anyway it's nothing to be worried about I mean, of course, we will do some ultrasound for this one. We will not let her go the, by a mammogram, but we have nothing to be worried about. Now, here we have some micro calcifications, punctate small at the upper outer quadrant. I mean, we need a magnification view to uh, for the CC view to uh, see it. And this is a suspicious feature. This we need to follow up closely. It's in a segmental distribution okay this we need to follow up closely then now let's see what do we have here you have an area of architectural distortion okay this is also suspicious you might put it as a by rods for b or c i need to do something about it no this with calcification it was sorry it's a four, yes, four, four B, four C, maybe, because it's in, it's clustered, it's in a segment, segment. You can see it's a triangle towards the nipple. This is suspicious. Okay, now, what do we have here? Nothing. Just fibroglandular tissue scattered. Okay, so. That will be all for the mammography. Thank you very much. We will see you again sometime else to continue our talks.